will figure out these two teams as we have tipped off. Off we go from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Again, that early pursuit of early offense. Cole pushing the tempo. Guys got to run with and they'll be rewarded. On the inside, it's Armando Baycott to start to score. Coach Williams really lets you peek behind the curtain. It's must-see TV, I'm telling you. Well, and we had fun going behind the curtain with Roy Williams today, talking about his star in Cole Hampton. Never, ever not acknowledge your attack. So we had a great meal today. We'll talk about that later, too. There's the pressure. UNC out running, and Brooks slamming it home. Carolina running. Active hands, a trap. Deflection. It will flourish all season long. Another trap near half court. Perez off his shot fake for Jenkins. Yes! Shoot. That's what Tim Kraft said to us today. He doubled down on it multiple times. He said, you got to watch how good a passer Perez is. And then Anthony gets the roll. And he kicks an easy one on the other end. Then Cole Anthony cutting up the defense. Shot clock below 10. Turner drives and scoops it in had success against Gardner Webb, so he knows this opponent. Slow down. Jaheim Cornwall sticks a three. Inside this bona fide star. There's Baycott. You wanted him down on the block. He misses, but the tap is good to bring Carolina within one. Misses, but offensive rebounders in position to clean it up. First two for Justin Pierce. How about the follow by Kareem Reed? Pierce averaged five minutes per game. Suddenly in an enhanced role is playing 27 minutes per game. It's a whole new world. Big cat underneath, got it from Pierce. Well, you play with a guy who draws so much attention in Anthony, it'll just generate chances for you. Johnson on the baseline, nice floater. By on the closeout, high percentage for The lob from Black, and it finds Armando Bacon. The freshman's got a half dozen. Where was he? Reed. Jamison lost it. Anthony lays it in. Drive and score at the rim. That's how this team can produce offense. Trying to create here in the half court, and they go to the freshman again. Got some confidence with early baskets around the rim, now showcasing what he can do with the ball. And played fewer than three minutes due to both foul trouble and then being evaluated for that concussion. Baycott altered the shot of Jenkins underneath and Black pushes. Play Tech, nice job with the body control. Anthony, got it! Over the top of Nate Johnson. Dufial blew a tire and Jamison Cuts it back to two. Johnson picks off the pass, and we are tied. It's number six, North Carolina. This is Leaky Black. Christian Keeling on the scoop to the basket. His first points. Perez has the size advantage on Keeling, and he scores. Dufial got free. There was some grabbing behind him, no call. And now Keeling finishes. Just impressive to watch his command of the game. Dictates tempo and makes things happen. But we're watching Carolina, so let's get back to the They're coming out of halftime. Roy Williams has run a play for Christian Keeling, trying to get him going. And now a turnover. Leaky Black pulls up. Got it. Killing spots up. Yes! Black took it away from Reed. Anthony attacks the rim and the follow for Baycott. Reed can't finish on the inside. Anthony on the step through, off the window. Cole Anthony. I like the idea of pressure here defensively from Carolina. Gardner Webb breaks it. Perez tried to go right at Baycott, and now it's Reed who muscles it up. Freshman on freshman. Full court pressure in that sequence. First points of the half for Gardner-Webb. 
Two more. There's Perez with his second basket. But you'd like to see those guys here down the stretch for Carolina. Yeah, I'd like to see those supplementary pieces pick up things here. Perez loves to post up smaller guards. He's got a couple inches on his old teammate. He gets the roll plus a foul. Black spinning. Nearly scoring. Pierce follows it up with two. Cornwall. Got it. It's a big basket for Playtex to gain his confidence as a shooter. Perez drives and he's blocked by Baycott. My goodness. Showing it on both ends. Nate Johnson playing with some foul trouble as well. Shot clock winding down. Johnson. Got it. Oh, risky pass into the post by Keeling. Corralled by Carolina and an easy deuce for Playtech. Doesn't drop for Jenkins. Carolina is running. Anthony. Got it. Baycott still on the bench right now. Shot clock below 10. Jamison falling away over Brooks with a much needed two for Gardner Webb. Shot clock at seven. Nate Johnson snakes the double and scores. It's cold time here. Five on the clock. Anthony a step back through two defenders and he got it. Wow. Hubert Davis, who started college, played a high-level pro, and for a long time knows greatness when he sees it. He's identified it in Cole Anthony. A much-needed role for Jose Perez. Such a cool customer. That's what is alarming from Cole Anthony so early. I mean, that's what really stands out. Nice seal underneath by Pierce and the feed from Brooks. Baycott back into the game. Couldn't get by Reed on the inside. Anthony still on the bench. You saw him. Picked up that fourth foul right around the 4.30 mark. And in reality, this is Baycott's second game because he only played three minutes versus Wilmington before injury. Good hands by Leaky Black. Killing on the run out. Anthony, the finish! Winter coat being worn during 40 minutes of basketball. What these football guys are thinking? Yeah, you and Boozer are a little bit out of your element in that regard. Boozer's from Alaska. Like, why are you wearing gloves and a hat? Difficult time for Carolina, who's got their best basketball still ahead of them. 13-point game. Perez on the drive and a blocking foul. Off a Keeling miss, Johnson leads the run out. Step through and swatted. Christian Keeling the eraser. Smith the legend means to the legend in Roy Williams and that is an honor he will not take lightly to pass him by and wins. Improves to 3-0 here at home in Chapel Hill.